well. Southport has had its fair share of cruelty over the years. Either bad management or the lousy council letting these buildings be knocked down. Maybe a bit of both. Not to mention the Southport Corporation let the Chapel Street Station face here be knocked down to make way for more retail in the 70s. Anyway, that's not why we are here today. We are here to talk about Southport that has been built in Minecraft and showcasing the comparison builds in real life. Er, uh, how? When these buildings don't exist anymore. Ah, you see. Minecraft is a tool you can use to create such buildings. So in this little documentary, I will be showing you what has replaced these beautiful buildings with something not as good or even better than before. Let's start off with the Southport Palladium, also known as the Odeon Cinema, to older people who lived in Southport before it was knocked down. To people who don't know what I am talking about, the Sainsbury Supermarket on Lord Street ring a bell? Well, if you've guessed it correct, the building was there. The Southport Palladium Cinema was opened on the 3rd of January 1914. The architect was George E. Tung. He designed the Palladium in an Italian resident style. The interior was decorated in an Adam style. It had a 30 feet deep stage as it was designed for cine variety use. On the 20th of October 1925, the Palladium suffered a serious fire in the auditorium. It was reopened again on the 3rd of April 1926. In 1928, Sir Walter Gibbons became part of the General Theatre Corporation, a subsidiary of the Gormont British Theatres. Disaster struck again on the 26th of March 1929, when the auditorium was burnt down again. The face of the building remained with the cafe. Gormont Theatres brought in their own architect to redesign the auditorium and incorporate the existing face into the design. An extension was added onto the left side to make it bigger. On the 1st of October 1930, the cinema was opened. In 1950, the Palladium Cinema was renamed to the Gourmand and later in 1962, the Odeon. The rank organisation closed the Odeon on the 28th of November 1979. Sainsbury's made an offer on the building in 1980. They promised to keep the face here, but they knocked it down while it was a grade 2 listed building and in a conservation area. The ABC Cinema was opened under the name Regal Cinema on the 5th of December 1938. Where is it you may ask? Well it's on Lord Street of course, next to the oldest houses on the street known as Wellington Terrace. Architect William R. Glenn was able to design the cinema to maximum capacity on such a tight plot of land. The cinema was equipped for 70mm presentations when new equipment was installed by the end of the 1960s. By 1962 the Regal changed its name to the ABC and the industry started to decline and performances reduced to once nightly, Martin selected days only. The final film was Star Trek 3 on the 1st of September 1984. Demolition took place in the summer of 1987 and replaced with old folk homes. Last but not least is the Palais de Dance on Lord Street. Where is it? Older people will remember it as Woolworths, not as a ballroom, or maybe will remember it, depends if they lived in Southport in the 60s. Just to the right of the Cenotaph, the Palais de Dance opened on the 29th of May 1925, designed by the same architect who designed the Palladium, George E. Tung. The face here was of Portland stone and 135 feet long. At the time, it had the longest dance hall in the northwest of England, with 10,000 square feet parquet floor. The first resident band was led by Billy Cotton. Since his departure in October 1927, the palace went into decline and premature closure in 1929. George E. Tung was re-engaged to convert the ballroom into a cinema, equipped with Western Electric Sound System. A seating capacity of 1,357 was achieved in stalls and balcony. There was a large stage and orchestra pit. The Trocadero Cinema was opened on the 28th of October 1928. The Mayor of the County Borough of Southport did the grand opening. 
Cinemascope with stereophonic sound arrived on the 12th of April 1954. In September 1960, Woolworths announced they had bought the complex for an extension onto Lord Street from Chapel Street. The cinema shut down on the 1st of October 1960 and demolished. The British Heart Foundation occupied a building on the site. Yes, Southport was a garden city at one point, but never got city status. Why, you may ask? Because Southport declined through a lack of transport links. Hence why the borough of Southport and the corporation dissolved for inconclusion with Formby and Crosby to make the borough of Sefton in 1974. Bootle doesn't deserve a mention lol. Anyway, more to come soon, but for now, thank you for watching.